What's up, everyone? It's Chris with King Picks Media. And before we jump into today's videos, do you like t-shirts, stickers? I've got just the thing for you. So we have some surplus from our Generation 1 Wins Chow t-shirts. I have extra large, medium, and a few 2X. So if you want a shirt, hop it in the comments or follow me on Instagram and send me a DM. I'm going to be picking three uh, lucky winners to send shirts out to. As far as stickers... I have a surplus of Generation 1 Wins Chow stickers. So, same thing. Um, let's take that one over to Twitter. Follow me on Twitter, send me a DM, and I'll pick, uh, let's pick 10 people to send stickers to. So with that out of the way, let's get started. So it's no secret, I really enjoy and appreciate firearms. It's a big part of what I do in the military. It's a big part of, um, it's a big part of who I am and my hobbies. So I was blessed. I was lucky to get my hands on two very special firearms. I have the Staccato 2011, and I have a Glock 19X, or what some would refer to as a Gucci Glock. Um, so we're not going to be looking at the Glock today, so I can just set that one aside. We are going to be looking specifically at the 2011. Um, I have no experience with this gun. I've never actually shot or held one. You guys are witnessing me go through this for the first time. So before we get started, let's make sure the weapon is safe. Weapon is clear. All right, let's dive in. So uh, a good friend of mine and a co-worker, um, I'll just call him Willie, he, he swears by 1911. He's always been a 1911 guy as long as I've known him. Um, and his quote is, two world wars. And you can't argue that. So looking at this platform in the 2011, it's like, okay, let's modernize it a little bit. So staccato, literally, I mean, this weapon is phenomenal. When I first held it, I was like, man, it's a little heavy, but then I realized, well, wait a second, it's it's actually, it's not like a, it's not like a tiring heavy, it's more like a, it's more like a durable heavy, if that makes any sense, because you know it's going to manage recoil well, and you know it's solid components, so it's not going to break down on you. So I went to their website. Now, staccato is actually a very expensive gun, but some would say it's worth it. Um, <laughs> I, I, have, I don't think I've put enough rounds through it to see if, if I'm actually interested in investing in one. But I'll tell you now, as soon as I took it out and held it, I wanted one immediately. This particular model is the Staccato P. And it has a 4.4 inch bull barrel. Um, the sights are Dawson Precision Fiber Optic Front. Um, and then the Staccato 2011 TAS uh, rear sight. So one of the things that really stood out to me about this weapon was the trigger. Um, this trigger is unlike any trigger I've ever fired. Now, I've shot with with Glock triggers and CZ triggers and things like and stock triggers and Apex triggers and all, the, all these different triggers. And um, I've never shot a trigger like this where I, I feel like it's just it's crisp. It's it's a straight pull. It's not you know, there's no play in it. So I'll show you guys. So you have the take up. Then the wall, smooth. And then here's the reset. It's just everything about it is so smooth. Let's do it again. Take up. You have the wall. Boom. Let's reset. So this trigger, I, I really enjoyed it. I've only dry fired this at this point, but hopefully I'm going to get some rounds through it. We'll see. I'm not sure yet. The length is 8 inches, the width is 1.3, the height is 5.5. So it's similar to, I don't know, kind of, kind of. I'll put it next to the Glock. Putting it, comparing it next to the Glock, it, it appears comparable, um, but it just, it feels, it's a little heavier than the Glock. You can get it with two 17 round magazines or one 20 round magazine. Overall, my first impression of this weapon, much like any quality firearm, I really like it. I want to shoot it. I want to. I want to keep it. Can I keep it? He's shaking his head. No, I can't keep it. They're not going to let me keep this. But I, I really, uh, so far, I enjoy the gun. It's a comfortable gun. Now, some have complained about the grip. I don't I don't have an issue with it. Um, again, I've, I've shot weapons for a very long time, and I, I feel like the grip is it's it's just fine. First impression, 10 out of 10. No, you know, I'm going to say 9 out of 10. We'll say 9 out of 10 because I can't afford it right now. <laughs> but hopefully one of these days I'll get my hands on one. So right now it's a 9 out of 10. Um, hey, if it's good enough for John Wick, it's good enough for me, right? <laughs> Make sure you like or leave a comment with what you guys want to see in the future. And be sure to subscribe. 
Check out my Instagram and my Twitter for more. There's going to be giveaways. Like I mentioned, the T-shirts are going to be on Instagram. The stickers are going to be on Twitter. Uh, follow me for more.